What's up YouTube, Una here to bring you another OPTC video and today we are doing the training Forest Hawk. Uh, so we'll be using a slasher team um, and you'll see I have a uh, thatch for my lower right unit which is the quick um, slasher and then in the upper left I will have in talk. So you don't really, you're not tied to, to those two units. You can bring a double raid hawk, the double, double decks for your two captains and you can also bring a free to piece free to play slasher um, I used to recommend uh, a brook but brook doesn't really have much longevity outside of, of this team um, and particularly once you start getting some auto heal um, I still like him but his just his usefulness has has gone away so I'm, I'm, I'm doing a thatch uh, I won't use his special at all it is only because he is a strong hitter um, and you'll see I'm just kind of stalling here um, on buggy just to kind of bring Usopp back up um, and that's, that's really the only requirements for this. Um, you won't really use any specials besides Usopp, so as always, you should always try and max your Usopp where possible. Um, and then other than that, you should be able to take out pretty much all of these units if you have high-level units in, in kind of single slash turns. Um, here he will lower any healing that you do, but irrelevant since we have the, the coffin chip. Oh, you know, I put the coffin chip on this. That's probably not the best idea. Um, but you know what? I, you'll see I'm not... I won't... I probably won't take any real hits here that uh, you can just ignore that and imagine that we're a sunny or uh, merry go um, sorry about that guys but you know what we're already into this video and I I've done this because I created guides for this and now I'm going back and actually creating videos for it that uh, you know this this just won't be a problem so and that's exactly why we bring mr. thatch right here to finish this attack chain here on mr. Arlong uh, so first what I recommend doing is having your your Mihawk kind of execute here if you have a max Mihawk if not, you can still take Arlong out. Um, you would just have to have uh, stalled a little bit longer earlier. Um, but we should be able to, yeah, we'll be able to take out fine with Thatch here. Um, you know, and Hachi, he doesn't, he doesn't hit very hard. Um, oh, of course, I get a bad arm on Arlong here. But uh, you know, just kind of pound away and just, just take them out the best that you can. It's, it's, it's not too challenging once you level up your units. Um, the only, only requirement, like I said, is, is a max Usopp. But you can do this with uh, a Max Mihawk and it'll only make it better in terms of, of, of being able to use him there as well as again on stage 19 against the Straw Hats. So for this stage, what I'd recommend is actually using uh, Usopp if you can, if you can, you know, put off doing it on Arlong. Um, you know, if you brought one or two quick slashers, you could take Arlong out as well too there. So uh, once you stall the uh, Baroque works here, um, the only thing really requirement is that you just need to make sure that Mr. Three uh, doesn't attack you lock your left side for six or seven turns. I don't remember a, a, a number you don't want to find out Just don't let him attack um, And then you know this this girl right here is just super annoying because she attacks every turn and Every so often she changes your orbs to weak So just take her out and then you can focus on taking on mr. Three and then the other two um, should really be a breeze There's nothing really uh, too challenging about them. So we're just going to keep smashing away Nope, oh, just a little bit left. Um, and then, and then basically, if you get Mr. Five below, I want to say it's like 50% or something like that, he'll do a, lot, a more powerful attack. Um, so you just need to be careful about that. And right now, let's just look for some orbs and some meat. Um, you know, not not a hard requirement, but um, it's probably worth stalling here too, just to kind of get your your Usopp back up. You won't need him next round, but you'll need him soon. All right, we'll just we'll just push forward here because uh, we've got uh, Toshigi and um, Smoker. If you have level three uh, anti-lock chains, that makes this even easier, honestly. Um, but you can still do this, as you can see here. I don't have max chains. So I'll keep those orbs here. Um, you just kind of outweigh them, take a couple hits from her, and then you should be fine with um, taking her out and then. Uh, uh, taking smoker out if you don't have uh, the strength or, or your chains in my case um, You can you can stall here uh, take one hit from smoker So you'll see he'll hit here for three thousand five hundred I want to say since since I can't take him out this round I won't push him below I can never remember uh, Oh, yeah, I guess I can't take him out. Okay And then uh, here comes and this is another reason why I should have brought this Sunny go honestly is uh, it would have been easier to take out all these these crabs around um, the rainbow dragon and my Usopp isn't ready. I sh mm. This was bad planning on my part, but honestly, 
um, it's it's not too challenging you can see that you'll take a little bit of hits here what is it like 1,003 yeah 1,350 nothing too too dangerous um, and that means that I will take a hit from uh, this dragon so um, you know just keep that in mind with, with your health planning you'll want to make sure that you have enough health this is where you could have used uh, if you did end up using Brook um, and you needed to heal here's a great time where you could have used his special because my thatch special is, is useless I don't there's no point in trying to increase quick orbs when you don't even have a quick team so this would be really low on my health without the merry go or the sunny go but um, you'll see I'll, I'll still just be fine here so you might as well just kind of stall out these turns um, I've only got oh I got some great meat here uh, one more turn on my Mihawk so um, we'll just look for for meat kind of heal up a little bit here um, and then and then this is where we want to make sure we take them out because we don't want to take another 9,000 hit there's no point and uh, this is the, the stage that gives everyone problems, so you know, go ahead and activate your Usopp. There's, there's no reason not to, because you won't need him for, for Mihawk, because what we're going to do is actually use one, uh, well, the one uh, Int Hawk special here, and we'll save our raid Mihawk for the next level. Um, I don't have good enough orbs to do a burst round now. Or do I? I could give Thatch's orb to. Yeah, I could do this. Um, you know, the the best strategy, honestly, is to do your burst round to finish off Luffy and Zoro, because then on the first round with Mihawk, you just activate, um, you just activate uh, uh, Raid, uh, the Legend Mihawk, and you can actually take do a ton of damage on him. But um, we'll go we'll go this way just because I can I can guarantee myself taking out. Uh, three of the straw hats this way um, Yeah, so we will attack in the order of taking out Usopp Nami and then finish with the Dex orb on Sanji and that should take out all three of them again You, you probably would want to do this as the last turn so that you could use the damage here on Mihawk, but we're just gonna guarantee it. So how much did that do? 1.25 so that could do over half of, of the next boss's level if you were to use you know finish this level doing something like that um, but you could still do it without that we just need to make sure we get a uh, red orb on Arlong um, or yeah I can't I can't stall for health so I just need to make sure I get a red orb on Arlong and I've got five turns here to do it um, I could probably do it without the red orb but that just that's just what makes it easier so I'll go ahead and look for one real quick other than that, just, I mean, got tons of turns here to uh, to do damage that technically if I wanted to save some of these orbs, I could. I'll save a blue orb just in case I want to use that. To, okay, there we go. Uh, just in case I wanted to use Raidhawk with, you know, doing a lot of damage with my, my thatch there. But we got our red orb, so um, we'll just go ahead and push through here. Well, do I have enough time to stall for Usopp? No, I don't, so... Yes. Well, let's look for one more orb. Didn't get it. Okay. So now we will go into Mr. Mr. Mihawk. Um, and he'll do a preemptive of like, two grand. Um, not too bad. And what we need to do basically is just take him out before he attacks uh, um, for his big, big hitter here. Um, so, yeah. We should be fine here. So I will I will finish my attack here with Arlong, and then I'll be able to use Raid Hawk Special to to take him out again. You probably should have saved the big burst round before before moving in here, so you could use him right away. But whatever, I'll show you how to do it this way. It's fine. So we do a little over half damn you know half of his health there, and what you can just do is use your Raid Hawk, and if he survives this, we will just activate our Arlong and just. I mean, he should, he should really be down to very little at that point. Oh, I guess I didn't do as much as I thought. Okay, so we'll activate our Arlong. And then just cycle through your units and do your damage. Wow, I got really bad orbs. This is kind of doo-doo. So you'll probably see from this that even with these bad orbs... Yep, uh, I guess I'll take them out. So that was the Forest of Training. I, I 
You know, looking back at it, I really should have stalled for that Doflamingo to be the final attack. But hey, just to show you, you can do it a, a couple different ways. So play with it. Um, you should be able to get it with, with high enough level units. You should be able to push them out with, um, with this team. It shouldn't be a problem. So good luck, guys. Una out.